Hey everybody, and welcome to part 43 of this Platinum Let's Play. On the last episode, we went through route, I don't know, 228 and 229, I think, uh, and got to the resort area, anyway. Uh, so, on this episode, we're going to be going to route 230, heading back round the circle up to the battle frontier and the fight area. Uh, off screen, I just did just go get that B barrel back. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on. Okay, why have they made this path so much longer? So this is Route 230. Uh, only in Platinum you can find Celio here. I think I've already covered it though. Uh, but yeah, just in case you wanted a Celio. Hello, hello. So yeah, this is a almost exclusively water route. Check out my physique. The rough seas sculpted this awesome body. Well, I can only see your head and you look like every other swimmer in the battle scene, so... Yeah. Anyway, so Kurt has a Krabby, level 51. Hit it with a Thunderbolt, obviously. As if I'm going to be doing anything else. We're at level 57. We have a core fish. Cool. Let's go into the gladiator, I think. Level 51. Hit it with a leaf blade. Finally, we have a Kingler. Let's go into Spaghetti for this one. Since it has pretty good uh, physical defense. Careful of this thing, it has the highest base, to base attack of all uh, water types. So careful of its crab hammer. If it has it, of course. It probably does. Should have. Okay, I've got a muscular physique, but there's no strength behind it. Uh, logic, please? <laughs> do you mean Pokemon strength? I presume you do, or else that sentence does not make sense. People keep coming to us to battles. I really don't know why. Tee hee! Okay, well. Alright, I guess. Okay, so Swimmer Joanna has possibly the worst Pokemon in existence. Level 52. That thing needs an evolution. Big time. And a Lapras. Okay, well that's much better. Uh, let's go into Gladiator. Fifty-four. Okay. Take that down with a close combat. Okay, so let's see. Who do we want to send out first? I think we'll have Gladiator up front, actually. Because I've got Ricky up front for some reason. Hello, hello. I'm a mermaid drifting among the waves, and a high spirited gal who battles with Pokemon. Cool, I guess. Okay, so Swimmer Mallory has a Surskit, level 52. Psycho Cut, so it's bug resist grass. And what else do you have? You have a Lombre, cool. Level 54. Uh, 
how you survive that surprise. Let's just hit it with another psycho card. Critical hit, yeah, great. Perfect time to get it. Of course. Losing makes my tears well up. Hmm, I guess. Fine. Is there another trainer here? Doesn't look like it. Oh no, there is here. Cool. A trainer riding a Pokemon. I like that. Let's better battle it out. Okay. Let's do it. There's a Swimmer Glen. It's an Octillery. Level 53. To level 56. Awesome. And a Poliwhirl. I think I'm going to Roadhouse for this one. Even though Spaghetti's quite close to level, I want Roadhouse to get some. Oh, okay. Almost level 56 as well. Cool. Level 53. Let's just hit it with a Brave Bird. Shouldn't be living that. Awesome, you're a real wild child. Hmm. Okay, so... Plenty of boulders to break here. Get some items. There's a blue shard there. Kinda helpful. Anything here? I would assume there is. Or else I'm just wasting my time. Okay, well, it's pretty much wasting my time. There's an Ultra Ball there. Item there. Yeah. Okay, let's just break this rock. And in the wall, there is a Water Stone. That's much better. Nothing there, though. Okay, so let's use Rock Smash on this boulder. And uh, then we'll get a rare candy. Nice. Always open to rare candies. Uh, let's just put that back up. The end of the route's coming up soon, but I just want to not have any interruptions. I'm bothered. Stark Mountain was a nightmare. Okay, so oh, we have a possible double battle here. Uh, I don't think I'll bother though. Let's put spaghetti up to the front. Are your Pokemon growing properly? Yes, yes they are. Thank you for asking. Okay, so Swimmer Sophia has a Deli Bird, level 53. I have to use Payback against this thing, right? Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh. Even better. I like Deli Bird, but it's just awful. It doesn't have any. I mean, it learns decent moves through TM and what have you, but it's just meh. Oh, and a Mantine, cool. Uh, let's go into. Ri yeah, Ricky. He's the only Pokemon with a move that's super effective against this thing. I love Mantine. It's one of my favourite water types. Okay, so let's just Thunderbolt it. It may live that, to be honest. Nope. Oh. Right, okay, so. Maybe too grown up. No, just too grown up for you. Uh, let's get spaghetti up front, I think. Hello, hello, hello. Check out my dynamic form. Victory is assured. Really? Well. 
Put your money where your mouth is, Sam. With your CDO, level 53. Can I outspeed a CDO? Yes, I can. Could you explain, please explain to me why that is not a wall rain? Because uh, it could be a wall rain by now. And a gastrodon, okay, well I'll stay in for this. 53. Okay, so, let's hit it with an energy ball. Should be dying to that, I don't see it living. some XP. Almost 2,000. Oh, that's how it is. Hmm. That is how it is. I beat you. Do you see how your victory was totally assured there? Can't be bothered with those berries. Kelpsy and the ones I can't remember. Oh, it might be Grepper, actually. I think it's Grepper. Okay, so we're back at the fight area now. Um... I don't really want to include any more on this episode, to be honest, because uh, I want to kind of split the rest of it up. Is there anything I can actually do on this episode? No, I don't think so. Alright, well, let's just keep this as a short one. May as well. Um, I'll probably upload this with another episode at the same time, to be honest. But anyway, uh, frankly, on the next episode, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did plan it all out, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, until the next episode, see you then guys.